All right, guys, Kettle Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. This is the display table. And yesterday I did a video talking about my progression in the reloading industry. And one of those things was basically uh, I went from a single stage to a turret press to a Dillon 650 uh, to a Lyman turret press. And the Lyman's obviously meant for more precision shooting. Uh, the the uh, Dillon 650 is meant for reloading 9mm and so forth and so on. Well, anyway, you get the gist. So in that video, I talked about this real quickly. This is a case gauge or gauge box from a company called Armanov. And I'll put the website down below, but this is a really neat organization. Uh, this is specifically made for the uh, 9mm Parabellum. That's right. But anyway, what this is, is a way for you to, one, inspect all your primers, make sure that they're all straight. Number two, it's a way to inspect the overall length and the uh, how they are consistent across the board and to your case. Uh, the brass, what you want to do is you want to have that thing fit in the barrel. Now, I just talked about the 2011, some other things, and how when you go into competition, or you, even if you're using these things for a life saving, you want to make sure that these guys are absolutely perfect, and this is one way of doing it. So let's talk about this. This is the Armanov. This thing's bad to the bone. This is a case gauge. It's uh, set up for a 100 round. It's a flip cover. So what you do is you take it out just like this, and it is machined aluminum, this block aluminum, and you've got these little areas right here, you can see, and then you've got these open area holes right here. And what you're going to do is we are going to drop, and I just happen to have some freshly made freedom pellets right here, and we're going to drop these in, and what we want to see is a perfect alignment across the top, which means that they are perfect for your 9 millimeter. And they make them in all sorts of stuff, uh, and, and different uh, calibers. But what we are looking for, and I've seen it on occasion, is one of these may poke up a little further than the other ones. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and load these up, and we'll fast forward it so we can see if we can find one. Right there's one. And it doesn't matter which hole you put them in, they're all going to be uniform. Okay, so here we are, man. We got them all loaded up. And what we're doing, this is going to, we're going to achieve two things. One, we're going to inspect to see if the case gate, case, cases are all inspected. Number two, we're going to inspect all of our primers. Now, looking at here, we can see one right here. Let me do this. You can see it's poking up. So we know that that guy is not something I want to use for competition or use as something that I'm going to depend my life upon. Secondly, we've got another one that's right here. You can run your fingers over, all over this, and we see that there's one, that guy right there. He is not within spec. So we'll go ahead and replace those with this thing. Oh, there's another one. It doesn't like that either. Well, shit, maybe there's something in that hole. Okay, there. There might have been something in that hole. Let me... I want to, let's go back and check that out. Yep. All right. So anyway, make sure your holes are all clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to inspect our primers. They all look really, really good to me. Then what we're going to do, check this out, is we're going to turn it over with the cap. Okay. And there we go. We've got them perfectly aligned. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the overall length just by eyeballing them down each one of their columns and rows. And they all look good. Now here's the cool part about it. Isn't that neat? Look at that. So what we do, you know, the MTM boxes, the case, the uh, bullet holders, is this is set up specifically for that. And then, boom. There we go. Isn't that cool? So anyway, 
that's 100 bullets right there. They're perfect, ready for use. And uh, make sure your pockets, your little holes are all cleaned out. There's no debris or anything in there. Let's just see. And look at that. That guy does not like that hole. Well, maybe that bullet doesn't like there. Yeah, that bad bullet. All right, with that being said, guys, this is the Armanov 100-piece case gauge. And it's if you're reloading and you're producing a lot of ammo, this thing can save you a lot of time. Otherwise, you could be doing your case gauges with something similar to this guy right here. Uh, but it just it makes it easier for me. So when I go to competitions, I'm pulling my box out. I know that these guys are perfect. And basically what I do is I just dump them out here and feed them into my magazines. But with that being said, guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, again, I put the website down below. Uh, Arminov. Uh, they make a lot of other cool items, uh, specifically for the, the Dillon. Uh, they've got a lot of firearm accessories, that kind of thing. And that's it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. Code of 132. I'm out.